disaster strikes, you may feel overwhelmed and not even know where to start looking when it comes to getting help with the cleanup efforts. Here sponsoring our segment this afternoon from Surf Pro of Champaign-Urbana are Dave and Susie McGuire. Welcome, guys. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having us. All right, so a locally owned business here in Champaign-Urbana. We've got multiple locations across central Illinois. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Surf Pro. Um, well, we're located in Urbana, Illinois. We have another shop in Danville, Illinois. Um, we own four franchises. We specialize in fire, smoke, water, damage, mold, remediation, and biohazard cleanup. So Dave, if they've seen a disaster, you guys are the ones that will come and make it all better. That's right. People, we yet to see people at their worst, unfortunately, but and they these love are, us when we leave. I bet they do. And these are all kinds of things that anyone may experience. Um, what seems to be the most common disaster or cleanup that you you tackle? Probably the most frequent one it would be water damages, uh, then followed by fire and then mold and the myriad of other things. And, and when you're talking water damage, we're talking like either a flooded basement, maybe some storm damage. Yeah, uh, some pump fails, um, uh, somebody left their hose connected over the winter and a pipe breaks. Uh, if, if you could think of a scenario, it has happened. Yeah. <laughs> right. And lucky though for people who may experience this type of disaster, you're open 24 hours. We are. We service people all through the night. We've got on-call crews and um, we provide board up services in the middle of the night, um, fire damage, um, securing the, the homes and um, water extraction if you have water damage in the middle of the night. What is probably the most interesting part of your job that people don't know or realize? Hmm. Well, we, we get to go to all sorts of different places, you know, like when they don't expect us. And um, so we're, we're dropping in on you, you know, like in the middle of your life. And um, we run into all sorts of situations, you know, like we have strange things happen, like deer running through windows. And so we come and clean up the glass and board up the windows and um, maybe clean up the blood and um, <laughs> just we, we have all sorts of strange things that, that need cleaned up at different types of properties. And then that's when you come in. Mm -hmm. What does the process look like when it either comes to like a fire or restoring a property like that? What kind of like the timeline start to finish? How does that work? Well, usually like, right, so when a problem is identified uh, by a homeowner or a business owner, um, first part is panic probably and they... For uh, sure, especially when you see your house looking like this here in the photo with that yeah, fire yeah. damage. And so the, they may already know to call us or they uh, uh, may get a referral from an insurance partner or a relative or... but so they'll call us. Um, we have a, a really great staff. Um, I think we're shy of 50 right now and always looking to hire more. Uh, but so they'll call and uh, the reason why I wanted to bring up the staff is because they take uh, turns on rotation so after hours uh, some people want to have uh, scheduled events and you know yes. that's great uh, so they'll call and uh, we have a emergency response the guys want to uh, return a phone call within 15 minutes we want to be on site within the hour and uh, if there's any communications that have to happen with uh, like an insurance partner or something like that that generally happens within eight hours just to give people a heads up with what they're doing. Uh, uh, we've had we've had pretty much every scenario damage happen to us personally. So we really appreciate uh, what do I do? How do I fix this? We got you covered. Kind of. <laughs> there you go, and you're the you're the guys to call. Yeah. What does it mean to be a locally owned business? Um, well, we're we live in this community. Our kids went to school here, and um, we our employees all live here. You know, like their families. You know, like are local, and um, so this is an important place to us. And you know, like we want to take care of it. The, the community has taken great care of us and supported our business for 34 years, and. Um, you know, like, and we like to give back. So it's, it's, we love to do community events and, um, you know, and just be a part of the community. Very I good. I used to tease that when uh, I go in a, a county market or schnooks or whatever like this, we want to make sure that we do a great job because champagne or band is really not that big and I don't want to have somebody throw a can of Campbell's soup at me. <laughs> 
<laughs> over the course of so. <laughs> well, I don't either. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, we appreciate you coming and the work that you're doing to restore homes um, to their full glory. And if people want to learn more, best place to go, your website? Yes. Okay. Well, we will, there it is, right there Thank on the you. screen. And we'll be happy to connect everybody with Third Pro of Champaign Urbana and um, give you a look at all of the many different services that they provide when you check out our website, ciliving.tv. And we do appreciate them sponsoring our segment this afternoon.